Hi, I'm Steve Bittinger. I'm here today at the National Gallery of Australia to give you a brief tour of the fantastic sculpture garden that they have here. These sculptures are duplicates of originals created by Rodin in the late 1800s. This is another group of sculptures by Rodin, the Burgers of Calais. This floating figure is by Gaston Lachaise. This sculpture of a woman is called The Mountain, created in 1937. This figure is named Penelope, first created in 1912. This is a duplicate cast in bronze. This sculpture is called The Dog, created in 2000 by Rick Amor. It has enormous power and a threatening sort of look. Some of the sculptures, like this one, are much more massive, towering among the trees. Located here between the National Gallery of Australia and Lake Burley Griffin. This is the National Carillion, located on a little island. The ripples in the water create a sort of liquid sculpture. Mount Ainsley rises behind the central area of Canberra. This sculpture is titled The Angel of the North.
These cones of polished stainless steel are three or four meters high, maybe 15 feet tall. Purchased in 1982 and created by Burke Flugelman. These heads rising up out of the water represent the many people that were killed in Cambodia. This massive bronze sculpture is called Hill's Archers by Henry Moore from the United Kingdom. This is a little fairy wren feeding on the mosses beside the reflecting pool. <laughs> 